In today's video, we're going to create this image carousel in Figma. My name is Jacqueline and this is Akia Designs. Before we get started, be sure to like and subscribe for more content. Now, let's get started. Press R and create a rectangle. Then make sure it's half the size of the frame and rename it to background. Select your text tool and type on your rectangle. Adjust the font and size of your text, then adjust its width as well. Duplicate the text and reduce the size of the duplicate. Fill the duplicate with text of about three lines. Change the color of the background and the text as well. Select both text and press Shift A to give it an auto layout. Rename the auto layout group. Create another triangle, set it to yellow. Adjust the properties a bit and add a text to it. Add an auto layout once again and then rename it to button. Select the text, the button and the background and group it, then rename it. To diamond group. Press P to select the pen tool and start creating this wavy shape. Adjust the top part of the shape a bit. Click anywhere to move out of the vector shape and add a fill to it. Then remove the stroke. Flip it vertically and adjust its position and height. Rename the vector to max, then drag it under the diamond group. Select both the max and the group and click on the max icon to max them. Rename the max to diamond max group and duplicate it. Select the background in the duplicate group and change its color to yellow. Then change the color of the text to black. Rename text1 to text2, then rename the diamond group to gold group. Rename the main group to gold mask group as well. Duplicate the group once again and change the text2 to text3. Select the background and change its color to green. Then select the text and change its color to yellow. Once again, rename the groups. Now, create a rectangle at the other half of the frame and use on splash to insect an image into it. Duplicate the image and rename it to gold group. Then insert another image. Then duplicate it once again and rename it to Emerald Group and insert another image into it. Select all three images and drag them out of the frame. Then arrange them horizontally. Once you're done with that, add an auto layout. Then drag it back into the frame. Create a rectangle, adjust its color and properties, and using the Iconify plugin, add an arrow to the rectangle. Ungroup the arrow and adjust its size and position to the rectangle. Then select both the arrow and the rectangle and add an auto layout, then rename it to down. Duplicate the auto layout group and rename it to up then flip the arrow vertically align both arrows vertically and add an auto layout adjust the spacing between them then drag it onto the frame position it so that it's at the far right of the frame in the layers panel drag the diamond max group above the emerald max group and drag the gold max group below the diamond max group. 
Select the text in the Emerald group and set its opacity to zero. Then select the text in the Gold group and set its opacity to zero as well. Select the text in the Diamond group, slightly move it upwards and turn its opacity to zero. Then select the mask and move it upwards. Now, select the text in the Gold group and turn its opacity to 100. Select the button and change its color to black. Then select the text and change its color to yellow. Select the image and drag it downward to move to the next image. Now, select the frame and duplicate it. Select the text in the gold group, slightly move it upwards and reduce its opacity. Then select the max and move it upwards. Select the text in the emerald group and set its opacity to 100. Then select the image and drag it down to move to the next image. Select the button and change its color to yellow. Then change the text color to black. Switch to prototype. Connect the first arrow to the first frame using the on-click command and the smart animate and set the duration to 1000 milliseconds. Then connect the down arrow of the second frame to the third frame and the top to the first frame. Then connect the up arrow to the second frame. Voila, a sliding carousel animation. Now, let's switch things up. Press F and create a rectangular bar on top of the desktop bar. Then, using the text tool, type collection. Adjust its position and size and duplicate it. Then type bestsellers. Duplicate it once again and type custom designs. Then select all three and add an auto layout. Use the Iconify plugin to add icons to the bar. Then use the logo Ipsum plugin to add a logo onto the bar as well. Adjust the size of the nav bar a bit and then adjust the size of the logo. Select the logo text and icons and change its color to white. Then select the nav bar and change the background color to black. Convert it into a component. Now to use it in your work, drag it onto the frame. Then reduce the opacity of the background color of the component. There you have it, our upgraded image carousel animation in Figma. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe for more content. Thank you for watching.